Hey, Dave with DirtyLandscaper.com here. I'm going to show a little episode on how to prune bushes. A lot of people think they don't have a green thumb, so they are afraid to do anything, trim anything. i got to tell you, it's spring. It's beautiful out. You can almost get away with murder early in the spring and late in the fall with shrubs. So, you know, when you're worried about trimming something, don't worry about it. But check with us if you want. Check out some of our other videos. But I'm going to show you real quick on this burning bush. Now, as you can see, this burning bush is, I would call it disfigured, or uh, it doesn't have a great shape to it. As you can see, the back half, for some reason, is not looking good. And I'm going to suspect that somebody did some damage, some mechanical damage, whether it was from ice and snow sliding off the roof and landing on it. Somebody had a ladder and stepped on it. I see that a lot out in the industry, people working on their houses, they stick the ladder on it, snap off half of it. So I'm gonna real quick show you how you can prune this. Now this is the burning bush again, pretty foolproof, you can't really hurt it. But if you watch, I'm gonna go in here to where we have a lateral bud, and you can see that, trim it back. And even these big branches, I'm gonna go in there and take these off. And again, as long as you always prune back to where you got lateral bud break, you won't have any problem in trimming it. Same thing here, you can see I'm coming back in here. I got a bud break right there. I'm gonna cut back a little more here. A lot of people think you're killing this thing or butchering it, but I'm telling you, you could get away with a lot of stuff at this time of the year. Now, obviously, if this was a flowering plant, right next door here, I'm going to show you a Miss Kim lilac or a dwarf green. I didn't look that close, but it's a flowering lilac. If I wanted to trim that right now, I'd cut off of some of this year's bloom. So we don't really want to do it until after it's done blooming. So there is some kind of a, a step about thinking about the process. Now, if you look back in here, what I've done... I've kind of evened this up, and yes, it's a little shorter, a little squattier than it was, but as you can see down here where the actual damage was, see how it flushed out from last year? This damage was probably done last year. That's exactly what's gonna happen here on your new foliage where we just trimmed it. It's gonna flush out and fill back in. Hope you've enjoyed this tip. Check out some of our other videos. Subscribe, like us, dirtylandscaper.com. Thanks for watching, bye now.